Welcome to LearnWire. In this video, we're going to be doing a keyword atlas review. Now, this is a tool that I picked up about a week ago, and I've been using it a lot for my websites and my business. Also using it for YouTube, for other channels, to find out what exactly people are searching for in 21 different sources. Now, you can use this for e-commerce if you have a Shopify store. Uh, if you're selling on Amazon, you could use this. If you're publishing books on Amazon, you could use this for eBay. I'm going to show you the inside of this tool. It's a really, really cool um, keyword research tool that does it in a unique way. So what's really neat about this is that it's not just going based off of a database of keywords. There's actually no database. It goes out every time you do a search and does a live search results right when you search. And it's only going to give you results of what people are actually searching for in uh, in Google or YouTube. I'm going to use those probably as the most the biggest examples, but we'll scroll through here. You get 21 top online websites. Then you can actually take your keyword research to the next level by um, getting six um, getting related keywords from six sources included. So you can take it even deeper with the keyword research. Now we'll come through here. This is a one-time offer. You can just pick it up one time, no monthly payments, right? So if you want to get Ahrefs, which is an awesome tool, um, it's going to cost you $100 per month, $1,200 per year. With this tool, it starts at $47, uh, one-time fee. Now, remember, if you want to pick this up um, and if you choose to pick this up via the link below, that is my affiliate link, I'm actually going to take you to a my private discount link right here. You'll see it up here. It's private discount. And instead of paying $47, you're going to get 45% off discount, right? So you'll just click on the link right here and you're actually going to get it for $37 and not $47. So I just wanted to point that out. This this is the place to go to get your uh, your discount for ten dollars off. Okay, so uh, you can only get that through the link below, though. So you, it even has uh, Best Buy. You can, if you're an affiliate for Best Buy, you can use Best Buy, or if you have an electronics uh, YouTube channel or a blog, you can search in Best Buy and you can search in Pinterest. And it uses those databases in a really cool way. So you can read through the sales page. Here's a bunch of the ones that you can use. Even Wikipedia, Vimeo, Google videos. We've got up here all AliExpress, Etsy, Walmart, Target, <laughs> um, eBay, Amazon, uh, Bing, Yahoo, DuckDuckGo, Ask, and Google. Really cool stuff. I'm going to show you the inside of the tool. We'll test it out a little bit. But this is the uh, sales page. There's a full walkthrough video right there as well. And um, here's the developer. He has a bunch of tools. He has about a suite of about 10 SEO type softwares, and he specializes in selling these lifetime discounts right now. So the normal normal price is $67, and then it's recently been on 47, but right now you can get it for $37. So let's jump into the tools. So I'm going to open that up, and you can uh, operate it in just this small little window right here or you can push this plus icon and come in and open up the full view like this all right so it's a very simple tool right so there is a link up here to app breed and it'll take you to some of his other softwares um so you have the welcome and then you just come over here to the suggested words right here and it's really really easy there's only a couple of different settings now there is a special setting you can come over here to ideas and this is great for websites you can actually use this and you can get a bunch of different how to's and why. So these are like information type posts uh, in during your uh, website niche uh, websites and blogging. Um, so you can get a bunch of different ideas right there and it's going to do a hot uh, key. So it's going to take your keyword. Uh, let's say hunting, for example, it's going to say um, the combination of what and hunting. Um, and you can put your singular plural. You can even put a year and region, right? So it has all kinds of good stuff right here. You'll see uh, shoppers with conditions. Uh, you know, these are all buyer uh, type uh, posts, right? Buyer intent post, cheap and best. You all know that um, if you are going for these kind of keywords, these are the ones that bring in the money with affiliate marketing websites, um, promos and coupons and a market watch, future uh, projection, celebrity gossip. If you have, you know, something like 
um, this uh, type of YouTube channel or something like that. You could use this and then there's reviews, right? So that's a really cool way, but we're going to stick with um, over here. You can select the different countries, global. I'm going to go with the United States and here's where all the search engines are, right? You can see all these different search engines and you can add more if you want to. You can actually select them all. You can select them all by going like that um, and it's going to uh, go out on each one on each of these search engines and go and do searches and you're going to get different results for each keyword and then it's going to give you a final score and i'll show you what that's all about here in a minute um, but i'm going to go ahead and deselect all and we'll just go with google and uh, yahoo uh, on this one for now and i guess we'll just we'll throw in another one just for fun um, and then we'll click like that and then right here i'm going to go ahead and just say hunting Let's just do a different uh, a different keyword or a different uh, niche today. So we have hunting and we're going to push start and you can see how fast it goes out. Boom. It just goes to work. All right. So I got that server error, uh, but that's because there's a new version already. And I used the software yesterday and I had an update as well. So uh, this is a full fledged desktop software, um, which you don't see a whole lot of those these days, but it's really cool. It's, um, it's very crisp and clean the user interface and it's very fast. And you can see right here, look, March 22nd, improved internal app connections to our app server system. So that's why we got that. I'd never experienced that one before, but that's, um, from yesterday after I got done using it, he launched a, another one, 1 1.0.2.5. Now, before that, March 22nd, I mean, March 21st, he had another version. So I already updated the software, right? And then look at, but before that, it was um, over a month. It was about six weeks before the last update, right? And then it was a couple months before that. So, but you can see it's been updated and updated and updated. How long has this been around? But look at all the updates. This uh, definitely, it's been around since 2019. It's been around for uh, four years and several updates. We have another one. All you do is just click the download button and you go through the process real quick and you update the software. I'll be right back in a sec. Okay, so we're back in. Uh, I'm going to go to suggested keywords. Um, we're going to go to uh, right here, go to United States, and we have the three selected. And we're just going to go in here and hunting. And then we're going to push start. Boom. And it's going to go to work. And you can see right here, you can see all the, um, the keywords that it's extracting, 250, 300. It's going through a, bunch, a series of different uh, strings. And I can show you what it's doing. And that's how fast it's going, right? So uh, we said hunting. It's even bringing back hunting Huntington Beach. Uh, we can actually cancel that out as well. You can export this into Excel. <clears throat> you can do put filters on this. It just found us almost a thousand keywords. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. It found us a thousand keywords in about, uh, what, 10 seconds. I'm going to show you the rest of this in a sec, but watch. So if we type in hunting right here in Google, right? So Huntington's disease. So people type in Huntington's disease more than they type in hunting rifles, right? And then you have hunting and hunting boots, Huntington hospital, um, hunting dogs, hunting gear. So this is going to, uh, this, what the software is doing keyword Atlas is it's going to the different platforms, YouTube, Google, and being in this case, in this search case, but it will, it'll do it for all 21 at the same time. If you choose to do that, um, now hunting, and then uh, there's different things that show up hunting rifles, right? So if someone pushes hunting and then space, now it's clearly that they're clearly searching for the niche hunting, right? And the most popular thing that people search for inside of the hunting niche is hunting rifles, along with hunting boots, hunting dogs. This is also a really good way to build out the uh, silo of your website too, um, by just doing this. And then you're going to see what the biggest parts of your content should be. Each one can be its own category, right? So you have hunting and then look, if you push, um, if you hit the a button, then you have all these auto suggests and then B right? Boots, backpack, bows, C, clothes, cameras, cabins. All right. So that is what this software is doing. It's doing this. It's, and this would take you uh, hours of your own time going through the whole alphabet for one keyword. And this software just does it in about 10 seconds. Okay. So um, it's going to go and it's going to give you your word count. And I actually like the word count and I'll show you why in a second. It gives you the character count as well. Uh, gives you the country and then here's where it gives you a score now uh, really the only thing i pay attention to, to is the position score um 
But what it's doing is it's basically saying that when you type in hunting tens um, or hunting, uh, that number one in Google, it's this is uh, what we just saw, right? Hunting ten. It's giving a number one right here for uh, when someone types in uh, hunting. Huntington's disease comes up number one, right? So it's like on a scale from one to 10, one being the uh, number one of most importance, right? So we come down here, like if you type in hunting and then G, hunting games is going to show up number one. If you say hunting and then G, it's going to, this is the number one most important for hunting G. So that's where that all comes up with. They all um, have the same numbers or whatever. And then uh, what we have is a position score. So the higher the position score, the better. It basically just means the better um, average score, the lower score um, average of the however many search engines you have right here, the higher the score is going to be over here. And that means that that is what people are searching for. Okay. So we have this thousand keywords. It's just crazy. Now you can come over here and what I like to do is you'd go to a word count and you can, there's a filter right here. And I like to look at only five um, five or greater, right? And then I'll click off. So then now we have, we're looking at 45 keywords that have five or greater right here. Um, and then you can sort, you can sort this by the position score as well. So now you're looking at, you know, R and F hunting and fishing supply, um, a hunting we will go. So then you wouldn't go with that one, right? So then what would you do? Like, like right here, fixed blade hunting knife, um, eBay for sale. You could select that one right there. Um, and so forth, right? And then if you're not finding um, a ton um, uh, that's going to help you out, then I would just come back over here and take the filter off and maybe say that we want um, greater than three. And we have a lot more to look at, right? And then make sure that the position score is um, from the top down. Hunting, fishing, loving everyday hunting for your dream. Uh, let's see. So a lot of this stuff is, you know, like uh, hunting Xbox 360 games. We're not looking for that. Right. And then hunting knives for sale. And since I'm in New Mexico, hunting zones for New Mexico, that's cool. Okay. So we have all these. And then what you can do is you can take it a step further. You can actually uh, right click in here. If you have some selected, you can do a, a bunch of different um, things here. You can also go to Google tools. You can open these up in Google trends, Google correlate, um, filters, you can do uh, different things. You can export this into um, Excel, which I recommend doing when you have your keyword research done. Um, and then we can just say, so send selected to the related keywords tool. And then it's going to take all these over here and we can keep those. Um, it, this is where it's going to be focused on just the, um, these six search engines. Um, we have those in there and then you can just push the start button. This is going to take each one of those to see if there's anything else. Those are very specific, so there probably won't be a whole lot, but here we go. So um, it's going to go out and um, find more like uh, finished gun dogs for sale, hunting dogs for sale in Nebraska, deer hunting dogs for sale near me. Um, there's a huge niche, not that this is where I wanted the, <laughs> the video, to, video to go, but hunting dogs for sale, Colorado, hunting dogs for sale in um, Pennsylvania, deer hunting dogs for sale near me, hunting dogs for sale in Nebraska, trained gun dogs for sale, uh, started bird dog for sale. Like look at pheasant hunting dogs for sale. You could build an entire niche site around uh, uh, hunting dogs, right? Um, super, super cool. So, um, this is kind of how that would work, right? So it just brought in a ton and it'll tell you what the source is. So you could focus on like, if you have a, uh, you know, a Rambo hunting bike, e-bike hunting setup, Rambo bike, hill climb, uh, whatever that is, but this would be specialized for your YouTube channel, right? Um, these other search engines, you can use that for blog posts and such. So then when you're done, you just push the clear button. It's very easy. Clear the data. We'll come back over to su suggested keywords and we will clear this out. Um, yes. And then we'll come over here and we'll do something else. How to lose weight. Actually, I'm just going to say lose weight and I'll show you how the ideas generator works. So we can just say lose weight and we'll go weight loss or something like that. And then um, what we'll do is you double click on these. And if you want some information type posts, we can fill these in like that. And we're moving these um, search strings over here to the, um, to the search list. And then let's see. And if you're looking at specific stuff, then these ones work really well. And then what you would do is just push okay. And then you would just push start. 
and then it'll go out there and do perform a bunch of um, searches for us. So how to lose weight fast at home without exercise. That's got eight words in it. How to lose weight in arms, how to lose weight in legs, uh, how to lose weight quickly, how to lose weight in thighs, how to lose weight without exercise. And we'll be back in just a sec. Okay, so I'm going to stop this around 1,000. We're at 950 right now. And you can see that we're only maybe even a fourth done with it. Um, but we're going to go ahead and push the stop button up here. So boom, we have enough information to kind of look at. Um, and so what I'll do is position score and just kind of move this up so we can look at the stuff that's the most important, how to do weight loss, uh, drugs work, why do weight loss plateaus happen? That might be a really good one. Why do weight loss plateaus? So if we take that, why do weight loss? Now I'm going to come back in over here and we're going to type this in. Why do weight loss, see that's where weight loss plateaus happen, right? So that's the first one that's showing up right here, okay? And if we go back over here, that's why that's showing a number one right here, right? So that would be a good keyword to go after. Um, but then we could also kind of look at, uh, you can go in and, and check, manually go and check before you create the content, see what the competition is going to be like for that keyword. But here we have a thousand keywords to look at. Now we could come through here again and go with like five or greater and we're left with 768. So this is where we had a really good search string. Um, uh, it does work really well when you keep it broad in the beginning because then it's going to really give you, uh, it's going to kind of open up and do a whole lot and find a lot of keywords for you. And then you get all these, um, all these keywords right here are actually being searched for um, in the search engines, right? So um, it's really, really cool. What do I like about Keyword Atlas? Well, first of all, it's a lifetime deal. It's a one-time payment. Um, and so you don't have to worry about paying hundred dollars a month for a keyword tool or even $50 a month for a keyword tool. Um, number two, it's fast, it's updated. Um, it's got a four years of, um, d development, um, that, uh, you could just see it's actually had two major updates the last two days. So it continues to get updated. Um, and so that's what I like to see about these kind of softwares. This isn't just your fly by night, like, oh, we created a desktop keyword search software. And then after a year, we're not going to do anything with it. This is a, a reputable uh, developer that created the tool. Uh, so it's going to be around a long time and a lot of other feedback and people use this tool and they really, really like this tool for niche research and keyword research. Um, it's very fast too. You can see it pulled a thousand keywords in, um, you know, about 15, 20 seconds. So it's super, super fast. And then uh, finally, what I like about it the most, obviously, um, if you like to do your keyword research manually, like what I just did over here, right? Um, where you start coming in here and you say, um, weight loss, and then you want to start seeing what shows up, weight loss, and then diet, and then you're going to come through here, right? So doing that the manual way, uh, you can do that, no problem. But this keyword tool is doing that right um, from scratch. It's doing a live search every time you use the tool. There is no database that exists inside of Keyword Atlas. It goes out and does the search every time you search for it. So uh, super, super cool tool. Um, I recommend it. Um, I picked up the lifetime deal. If you want to go pick it up, um, I recommend getting it through the link below. Um, it, you're going to save $10 and you're going to get the tool for just $37 uh, right here, 45% uh, uh, off and you're going to get the tool for just $37. Um, and you can install it on two computers, right? And they do have a, a way to get it uh, where you can install it on uh, like 20 computers or something like that. But I just recommend um, getting the two license one. You can put it on your laptop and your and your desktop. If you ever need to change computers out, you just uh, unassign the license to it and uh, put it on another computer. So um, that's it. That's my Keyword Atlas review. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, remember to um, get the discount, get it for $37 below if you're interested. Super cool um, keyword research tool. Um, also hit that like button and make sure to subscribe to learn wire so you don't miss out on more reviews. See you in the next video.